which to use, which to use. Okay, I know you landed on this video because you want to see a test between the GoPro 7 Hyper Smooth feature and this gimbal. Now, I'm a big runner. This is a daily vlog channel. I've published 900 daily vlogs in a row. But in addition, I've published about 70 videos that are focused strictly on running. So I love running, but I want to continue to produce and publish high quality vlogs and running videos for you. So I, that's why last week I got this GoPro 7 and I've been loving it and the Hyper Smooth is amazing, but I also was able to acquire this and I got to give a shout out to Treadmill TV. Go check them out. Great channel with great running videos, but Today, in downtown Denver, I'm gonna test just holding this GoPro 7 Hyper Smooth in my hand, running through Denver, and then also attaching it to this gimbal and running through Denver. And then I'll do a split screen, and I wanna hear your opinion, your true, honest opinion, here in about five minutes uh, after you've watched a bunch of footage between both of these pieces of equipment. All right, shall we do this? Let's do this. Thank you for being here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button, and you'll see plenty more of this type of stuff, all right? Come on, let's go. Good little warm up, good little warm up. What'd you think? Okay, I'm not done yet. That was it. That was just a warm up. Uh, I forgot to mention that I'm I'm filming right now with a GoPro 7 in 2.7K resolution and uh, 60 frames per second. And obviously, like when it's in my hand, the stabilization hyper smooth is on. And then when I put the GoPro 7 on the gimbal, I obviously turn the stabilization off, or else that would obviously defeat the whole purpose of the test. So. Now we're going to go down this block. It's called Dairy Block in downtown Denver. Cool little date night spot in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering. And I'm going to film once running down with the camera pointed out and once with it pointing at my face, split screen. So I'm going to run back and forth four times. Hopefully nobody thinks I'm crazy. All right, let's go.
a biking party. Woo! Question of the day, question of the day. Comment down below. Which performed better, the GoPro 7 Hyper Smooth or the Gimbal? Comment down below. I'm really curious. Now this is an eye test. You might have to go back just a little bit, rewind for the last minute and just kind of analyze the footage with your eye. Do the eye test, comment down below. I'd really appreciate it. And I think a lot of other creators would appreciate your answers as well, because I know they're gonna be watching this video and they're gonna wonder, what should I do? Should I just get the GoPro 7 and use Hyper Smooth all the time? Or should I invest in a gimbal as well and put the GoPro 7 on the gimbal? So that is the question of the day. And stay tuned for a little bonus footage where I'm gonna do something pretty interesting. Combining something. That's, that's my hint. That's my only hint for you. I'm gonna combine something. Hello YouTube, I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'm gonna do something a little different than what I usually do. I'm gonna actually go home right now, upload the footage from the GoPro into the computer, start editing tomorrow's vlog, and I'm actually gonna review the footage as I'm editing, and then tonight, show you the bonus clip and give you my full opinion on how it performed. It's crazy, it's just crazy. All right, actually, if you wanna see what I'm filming with right now, here we go. Hello, hello. See you at the house. I'm about 75% done with the editing and I've done the split screen and I realized some of the split screen shots were not perfect. Uh, but I, I think I got it close enough that you can see the difference. Folks, it wasn't even close. It wasn't even close. The GoPro 7 Hypersmooth versus this gimbal, not even close. I, I thought it would be closer, frankly. Now listen, the GoPro 7, solid, great step forward in technology for GoPro. Kudos to GoPro. But did you see the difference? And I'm sorry if I'm like trumping your comments down below, but it wasn't even close. And listen, I've been doing video production for a long time, 10 years plus. And so I, my eye is very well trained for smooth versus movement. And so I could see it very easily. Maybe you, maybe you could not, and that's okay. Go back, rewind and watch a couple more clips. It wasn't even close and that's okay. I predict that the GoPro 10, not the 8, not the 9, but maybe in like three more years, the GoPro 10 technology. That's my challenge to GoPro. Whoever works at GoPro and you're watching this video, hopefully, like maybe in three years, you could completely not like annihilate the gimbal, the need for a gimbal. But at this point, the gimbal was amazing. Like it was so smooth. I couldn't believe how smooth it was. And uh, now listen, you're not gonna wanna go, if you're a runner especially, you're not gonna wanna carry a gimbal on every single run for smooth shots on every single run. That's, you know, that's not why we run to carry equipment around. So I predict that for my running, I will carry the GoPro 7 in hyper smooth 80% of the time and then maybe use the gimbal the other 20% of the time when I really want those smooth, saucy shots. So, I get it, you're not gonna carry the gimbal around all the time. All right, you've been patient, you ready for this bonus footage? You're probably wondering what it is, maybe you've already figured it out. The GoPro 7 Hyper Smooth on the gimbal. That was probably an easy guess, but we're gonna watch footage now in about 20 seconds with the GoPro 7 in Hyper Smooth Stabilization Mode on the gimbal so we're talking it should be extra extra smooth and again down in the comments let me know if you can see a difference this is the bonus footage for you i haven't seen this yet on youtube gopro 7 hyper smooth stabilization on plus a gimbal 
I better not fall over walking backward. All right, we're gonna do a running test for the next minute. Let's do this. How does it look, YouTube? How does it look? I'm running like seven minute miles right now. I'm gonna do a sprint test here. Well, in about 10 seconds. and tired. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed that bonus footage. Like, that was pretty sweet. That was pretty smooth in my humble opinion. Oh, if you're new, welcome. Hit that subscribe button and we're gonna keep publishing videos like this one on running and a little bit of gear and a lot of running and a little bit of gear. Thank you. Uh, well, okay, I won't say his name today. Come back tomorrow. I'm gonna open this package up from Amazon. Basically something else arrived in the, in the mail today and I believe it's connected to the GoPro, uh, but we're not gonna open it tonight. We're gonna open it tomorrow. Come back tomorrow to see tomorrow's vlog. Thanks for uh, watching and we love you and you're amazing and you can, you can, you can run too. Just get out there and run. And I hope this video helped inspire you to run a little bit. Seek beauty, work hard, love each other.